Hello and welcome to Train of Afterlife. I am RMP792 and... Yeah, this one sounded interesting. I'll be honest, after, you know, two weeks of playing Homeworld, I fancied something a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, and... Well, I've only got a couple of days to actually record this, whereas I normally have the Monday to Friday period. So... Having something shorter made sense to me. So, hopefully this will be interesting, and let us start. <clears throat> it was dark. I couldn't see anything. Not even a single ray of light. It was quiet. I couldn't hear anything. Not even my own heartbeats. It was empty. I couldn't feel anything. Not even my own existence. There was... There was literally nothing. I see... This must be what all living things will have to experience eventually. This... is death. Is there life after death? I guess this is something that you'll never know until you experience it on your own. Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? What? What's that sound? This is... A train? Hello there. Amidst the grey scenery, an unfamiliar voice greeted me. You're new here, aren't you? There's always a new passenger appearing every now and then, so I knew it right away. The person who greeted me was none other than a shadow. Or... Or rather, that was the only thing I could make out of it. Don't be alarmed. I'm sure you've already realised that you'll no longer belong to that world. Don't worry, you'll get used to it quickly. It's the, sa it's the same with all of us. We are currently on a journey. A journey? What kind of journey? Where are we going to? No one knows exactly where this train will take us to. There are those who will just wait patiently until it reaches its destination. There are those who are trying to figure it out by talking to other passengers, such as myself. Uh, speaking of which, I have yet to introduce myself, haven't I? Typical. This is always the problem with visual novels, where they don't let you know what the uh, character voice should be. Should I change it, or should I just keep uh, a g you know, what is apparently a girl called Little Mary, with this slightly posh, uh, aristocratic British voice? Forget it, she's keeping that voice, it'll be funnier. <clears throat> my name is Little Mary. You could just call me Mary. Of course, that isn't my real name. As you can see, we are nothing more than shadows of what we used to be. Without names, memories, nor our own bodies. It's difficult to figure out who is who, so I thought I could at least give myself a name. What about you? Perhaps you also want to give yourself a name. Wind. That was the first thing that came to me. Wind. That's quite a peculiar name, but well, I guess I'm not one to say. Why did you call yourself that? Why? It's a good question. I don't remember. Oh, don't worry, that's normal. No one here remembers anything. In any case, it's nice to meet you. Wind. I'll be at the sixth seat. Feel free to find me any time you like. What should I do now? Well, let's have a wander around the train. Where should I go? Well, we know where Little Mary with the completely inappropriate voice is in the sixth seat, so let's go talk to the seventh. I don't know anything about this train. I better talk to Mary before asking other people. I believe she's at the sixth seat. Well, that's a false choice then, isn't it? I hate it when games do that. This is the sixth seat. So what should I do now? Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, hello there, Wind. How are you doing? I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you want to know? 
How many people are there on this train? Well, there are five, including you in this passenger car, the last time I checked. However, that number might change at any time. Shadows appear and disappear without notice. I've heard from previous passengers that one can only stay on this train for a maximum of 12 hours. Even though we're riding on the same train, each of us is bound to a different destination. I wonder what awaits us at the end of our journey. Let's talk to question marks. Excuse me? Diu. Call me Diu. You must be Wind. Mary's told me about you. I like her. I'm new to this place. I, I don't think I can help you much. But I'll try and answer to the best of my abilities. What, what do you want to know? Well, that would be helpful for me to know for the point of uh, trying to figure out what voice to use. What's the problem with all these shadows? I don't have a clue. How about you? Do you remember your own gender? No. I don't think it matters here anyway. Gender means nothing when we forsake our earthly body. It's all about the soul. The purest form of oneself. In a place like this, you can be anything you want to be. I suppose that's true. So let's have a wander around the train. Where should I go to? Now is it going to let me go to the 7th seat? No. Okay, back to the 6th seat. Let's talk to her again. Oh, hello there, Wind. How are you doing? I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you want to know? Okay, where do you think we will end up? Well, that's a good question. There's a myth regarding a train that carries spirits to the other world. Isn't that just like what's happening to us right now? I guess what awaits us at the end of this ride is the afterlife. At the very least, that's what I'd like to believe. Everyone has a different answer for themselves. You probably do too. By the way, this is going to be a long ride. You might want to talk to the other passengers in the meantime. That's a good idea. Right. So I'm assuming now I can talk to them. So let's go to seat 7. Thank you. This is the 7th seat. What should I do now? Talk to question marks. Excuse me. Who the hell are you? What, me? You can call me Darwin, I guess. It's a random name, I know, but I couldn't think of anything better. Besides Little Mary, so it's better to have any name than none at all. I'm Wind. Oh, Windy, glad to know you. Is what I'd like to say, but it's probably stupid. Especially when we're to some disturbingly creepy train. Everyone here comes and goes so quickly, it's pretty pointless to go around meeting and talking to people. Not to mention they all go poof whenever they feel like it. Like when you ride on a train or a plane, most people would rather sit quietly and wait. Instead of wasting their time talking to people they'll never meet again. As a matter of fact, I might be disappearing at any time. You could save your breath talking to me. I see. Well, that person. I'm gonna have to come up with some pronouns. <laughs> they. Yeah, let's go with they. They were unhelpful. And a bit belligerent. This is the eighth seat. My original seat. What should I do now? Well, let's look out the window. I tried peeking outside the window. There was nothing, other than the thick white mist that extends beyond nothingness. It's truly a sight that was out of this world. Okay, let's go walking around the train. Let's go to seat 9 then. This is the ninth seat. What should I do now? Talk to question marks. What are you doing? Oh, another new one. I'm Wind. Bluebird. That's what everyone calls me here. Sorry, I'm a little busy now. Let's talk later. Okay. Well, they didn't have a lot to say. Go back to the sixth seat. Try talking to, uh... Little Mary again. Oh, hello there, Wind. How are you doing? I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you want to know? 
Okay, so these are the two we've already seen. So we have to keep talking to other people, I suspect. Excuse me. What do you want to know? Are you a... No, I've already asked that one. Do you remember anything about your past? No, not at all. This must be the work of Lady Meng. Lady Meng? She's the Lady of Forgetfulness in Chinese mythology. She brews herbs and pond water together to create five flavoured tea of forgetfulness. It only takes a sip to make one forget who they were. All of this just to ensure that every one of us is reborn with a blank slate. That's why no one can remember their past life. Isn't it strange? I've forgotten everything about myself, but I can still remember a mythology like that. It's a little unusual, but... With amnesiacs can quite often remember... Strange things. <clears throat> this train is... Peaceful. What a peaceful place. It's, it's nice to be here. Hello. It was yet another unfamiliar voice. Huh? Wait a second. I thought there were only five people riding on this train. Little Mary, Dew, Darwin, Bluebird, and, and me. There shouldn't be another person. Who could it be? Shadow of a young girl. An extraordinary feeling surrounded me. A sensation like no other. Instantly I knew she was different from everyone else. What's your name? Wind. Wind? You mean, like the breeze? Yes. What a coincidence. My name is Wing. Wing? Yes. The wing that flies in the sky. I didn't think we would share such similar names. Feels like a ma it feels like a matching pair. Yes. Wind and wing. I like that. <sighs> I wonder if you'll laugh at me if I say I feel a strange connection to you. It's like you're my missing half. I won't laugh. On the contrary, I, I can't laugh because... Well, that's how I feel too. And that was when... The clock within me began to tick. Well, that's a little creepy. Actually, it's a lot creepy, but... <laughs> Death-related stuff tends to be. So let's face it, all fear is based on the unknown, and there is nothing we know less about than death. like in the music. You know, it's nothing overly complicated, but it's quite pleasant. First hour. So we've got a maximum of 12, have we? Huh? In the blink of an eye, Wing was nowhere to be found. Where could she be? What should I do now? Uh, let's go to the sixth seat. Sixth seat. What should I do now? Ah, so, uh. Little Mary. Don't know if I'm gonna think of that. Has, uh, scarped, has she? If you're looking for Mary, she's not here. She said she was going to the ninth seat. I see. Thanks for telling me. By the way, did you happen to see someone by the name of Wing? Wing? Who's that? Somebody I met just a moment ago. I'm afraid that's the first time I've heard of such a name. I see. Ninth seat it is.
This is the ninth seed. What should I do? Let's talk to little Mary. Oh, hi there. Are you here to play the tarot cards too? Tarot cards? Ah, I see. You don't know about it yet. I heard from one of the previous passengers that you may learn something about yourself if you try it. Like the fellow beside me, Bluebird. He desperately wants to know about his past life, so he tries it all the time. How about you? Do you want to give it a try? I'm not sure if I want to. I understand where you're coming from. Sometimes not knowing anything is a blessing. Well, you don't have to force yourself. Like I said, you're free to do anything you want on this train. Your past memories probably don't mean anything here anyway. By the way, did you happen to see someone by the name of Wing? I've asked around, but no one seems to know. No, I've never heard of them. Could they be a new passenger? I don't know. I decided to return to my seat. No one had seen Wing but me. As I ponder in silence, a familiar voice greeted me once more. May I sit here? Wing? Is that you? Where did you go? I was looking all over for you just now. I was here the whole time. What do you mean by that? Oh, you shouldn't worry about it. By the way, you've seen the tarot cards, haven't you? Yeah, I, I heard from Mary that, that you may learn something about yourself from it. Are you going to try it? Huh? Aren't you the least curious about your past life? Like, what kind of person do you used to be? I don't know. A little, I guess. That's the same with me. It's not a bad idea to start everything from scratch. Having a brand new life and name, building a new identity and, and memories. Yet, at the same time, there's a lingering feeling that something is missing. Perhaps we should go ask for everyone's opinion about it. It's a good idea. I'll do that. And we're already into the second hour. This is not going to be a very long game at this rate. Alright, I'll go ask for everyone's opinion. Yeah, well, I know her opinion. Where should I go? Let's go over to the sixth seat. Excuse me. Yes? Do you always stay here? Yes. I, I don't intend to leave until I reach my destination. Have you ever tried the tarot cards? No, and I have no intention to try them. Why? I don't have any interest in knowing my past. Not even a little? Yes. Memories are just... They're part of our earthly bodies. Meant to be thrown away when you're reborn. We no longer belong to that world. We must learn to purge our lingering attachment to it. If you become too attached, you'll lose yourself. Let nature decide our path. Go with the flow. Well, at the very least, that's what I believe in. Is that really the right answer? How could we even know if it were true? Is that you, Wind? Hi, Mary. Uh, sorry to bother you again. May I ask you a question? Sure. You went to read your past life just now, didn't you? Yes. I wasn't as curious as Bluebird, and I really look forward to seeing the end of this ride. But I couldn't resist. My curiosity got the better of me. Did you recall anything? It wasn't much. I had to get a little bit of it here and there. I see. <laughs> Say... Did you know that the cause of death can generally be classified into four categories? Natural causes, accident, murder, and suicide. Which do you think you belong to? I don't know. And which do you think most people would hope for? Natural causes, I suppose. Yes. You're probably right. sense of relief. Are you satisfied with it? Are you talking about my, knowing my past? Yes. To be honest, I don't really know. I feel as if I've just woken up from a very long dream. What remains in front of me is nothing but the sweet and bitter truth. 
That's a bit ominous. Let's go talk to uh, the person at number seven. Who was? Who was it? Oh, nobody there. <laughs> Uh, the 8th was my chair, wasn't it? So, on to 9th. This is the ninth seat. What should I do now? Let's talk to Darwin. Hey, Wendy. I'm here to play the tarot cards. What about you? Are you interested in knowing your past? Not really. I'm just bored, you see. It feels like watching memories of someone else rather than my own. Kind of like watching TV. If I think of it that way, what I see won't be anything more than stuff to kill time with. I see. How was it? I... I'm curious about my past. I've decided. I'll try out the tarot cards. That's wonderful. Are you enjoying this? Yes. It's because I want to know more about you. Don't you want to know... Don't you want to know about yourself? My past doesn't make me who I am. Well, that's wrong for a start. We're, we are all collections of memories. Is that so? Then who are you now? What makes you... you? I couldn't answer that question. Yeah, if we've only got 12 hours, this is going to be a really short game. An hour has passed. Wing didn't say a word after that. I'll try the tarot cards. If I don't try, I'll never know. I couldn't see her, but I could feel as if she was smiling at me as I uttered those words. It was a happy and yet eerie smile. Or was that just my imagination? Alright, let's go uh, do some tarot card reading. Let's go. C9. <sighs> As per usual, I apologise for all the yawning. As I said, this is the problem with me getting up. It's ridiculous. I keep waking up at like half four, five o'clock in the morning. It is early even for me. Talk to Bluebird. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry for taking such a long time. What were you doing all this time? Oh, I was playing the tarot cards. You probably heard this from Mary. I, I really want to know about my past. She said you're desperate. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. I would have thought it's normal for people to be curious about what kind of person they used to be. Apparently I'm a rarity. Most are either undecided or conflicted. And then there are those like you who are completely against seeing it. I honestly don't get it. How about you? Do you want to give it a try? I'm ready. I think I'm ready. That's the spirit. Since this is your first time, let me explain how it works. There are a total of 12 cards. The star, the sun, the earth, the moon, the hope, the love, the balance, the fortune, the angel, the devil, the hermit, and the joker. None of these can be read in the beginning, but as you go deeper into your memories, you'll be able to read whichever card you want. You can only choose one card per play, after that, you need to wait at least an hour before you can try again. You can try up to nine times, any longer than that, and it becomes too dangerous for your mind, so make sure you choose carefully. When you confirm your selection, hold the card, close your eyes. You'll see the flashback relating to your past. What flashback you see will depend on the cards you choose. For example, the star relates to your birth, while the fortune relates to your wealth while you were still alive. I would have told you based on my experiences and what the previous passengers have told me. Don't count them as facts, but I think this should be good enough for general guidelines. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Choose a card. The star, the sun, the earth, the moon, the hope. Okay, it doesn't appear to want to let me choose any of these, so I need to start with one of these four, do I? Okay, that's fair enough. So birth. I'm assuming that moon is probably our death. If we assume the standard day night allegory. So 
So let's start with the sun. Okay, that's the sun. Now hold on to it and close your eyes. I love the fact it says Mirage's Emo Deck, as illustrated by Nitaro. Nitaro? Yeah. Not 100% sure of the pronunciation there, but okay. <clears throat> See a flashback. The sun is so bright today. Yeah. In the end, it's just the two of us. Yeah. What should we do now? With the money Grandpa left us, we can do anything we want. Like going to school. Yeah, that's the plan. But honestly, I don't know for sure. A lot's happened. I feel a little lost. I feel like the wind. It blows around without direction. If you're the wind, then I'm the dandelion. Dandelions can only rely on the wind to determine their fate. Hey, you do know what that means, right? I can only go wherever you take me to? That was Wing, wasn't it? I would assume, anyway. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. What you've just seen is a flashback. It probably mo won't make much sense right now, especially if this is your first time. Come back in an hour if you want to try again. I understand. I'm back. How did it go? I'm still a little dizzy now. Huh? So you finally noticed. I can see you. No, it's not clear, but I can see a little of you. Oh, yeah? It's because your memory's returning. Little by little. It's not much, but you'll slowly remember how I used to look. Wayne. Just who are you? And that answer is within yourself. And that's all I can tell you now. I'm going to the fourth hour. Well, looking at my timer, that seems to me to be a pretty decent point to end this first part. So, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.